I don't forgive, will God forgive me? If that's a question that you have asked in the past, you absolutely have to watch this entire video because we're talking about matter of life and death, heaven and hell. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and 15, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. It is a promise of God. His promise is that if you forgive others, God will forgive you. If you repent, turn to him, trust in him, that's the good news of Jesus Christ. But on the other side, the promise is that if you will not forgive other people from your heart, God won't forgive you. If you've heard of people in the past that tells you that you're always secure, that God has grace for you, that the person has done something wrong to you and it's okay for you to hold bitterness and unforgiveness towards them, I want to caution you and give you the Bible because I want you to see it in the word of God. That one day you're not going to stand before the pastor or other people who are telling you what they're telling you. Mark 11 verse 25, 26 says the same thing. Whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Well, you may ask why. Jesus tells us exactly why in a parable of the unforgiving servant. You can go ahead and read Matthew chapter 18 verse 23 to 35. Jesus started telling this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like this king, settling accounts with his servants. This servant owed him 10,000 talents, and he couldn't pay, and he says, King, could you please forgive me? And the king had compassion, and forgiven him of all his debts. This servant had another servant of his own, which owed him only 100 denarii. In similar terms today, hundreds of millions of dollars versus maybe a few thousand dollars. The guy who got forgiven for a few hundred million dollars will not forgive a person who owes him a few thousand dollars. Do you see the problem with that? That's why Jesus says in his parable, when the master heard it, he was angry. He reinstated his debt and threw him back into prison. And Jesus says, so will my heavenly father do to you if you will not from your heart forgive your brother's trespasses. Well, you may think, well, that's very harsh. Why would God do that? Well, it's because Jesus has forgiven us of all our debts against him. There's no way we can pay it. It is clear the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. When we work, when we go to work, you get paid for what you've done. And guess what? Sin has a payment. Sin has a salary, and that is death. It doesn't matter what you call yourself. It doesn't matter where you go on Sunday, whether you clap your hands, whether you pray, whether you read the Bible, it doesn't matter. If you don't truly repent of your sins, if you live a lifestyle of sin, and if you won't forgive other people, Jesus says it himself, God will not forgive you. Many times I ask myself, God, is there anyone that I'm going to make right with? Anything I hold in my heart that has bitterness, please reveal it to me. And I thank God that I'm in that generation that I don't have to go through many of the tragedies that happened in, the, in our early generations. Maybe like our parents and their parents going through World War I, the Holocaust, World War II, many, many atrocities that I heard from my grandma. And I'm not trying to belittle or play down the things that people have hurt us or done wrong to us. I know there are many things that people have done against us that's wrong. But Jesus says we have to come into this place of our love with God, knowing that we've been forgiven, knowing that he's transformed us, that now we have to forgive others, whether it's your spouse, your friend, your kids, whoever it is. God wants to forgive us, but he's it's predicated upon the fact that we also will forgive others. You may ask, well, how can I forgive? Remember this, in Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 to 22, Peter came to Jesus and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? And you may know the story. Jesus says, I say to you, not up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Jesus is not saying, oh, just forgive the guy 490 times and then afterwards, just do whatever you want. No. Do you see the heart here? Jesus is saying, forgive him as long as he comes and repent and come to you. Isn't that God's dealing with us today? How many times have you come to God and say, God, I'm so sorry. For forgive me for this. I repent. If you come to God and God is willing to forgive you, because in the book of 1 John, it says that God is faithful, that if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us of all unrighteousness and to cleanse us from all sin. If God is willing to do that for us, God expects us to do that for others, to give grace, no matter how hard it is. And God can help you, but we have to do it. We have to be willing to say, God, help me and change me. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. God, I pray that today that we can put on love, we can put on tender mercies and kindness and meekness, because we know that that is your heart for us. When we have sinned against you, God, we ask that you please forgive us. And for the person who's watching, no matter what they're going through, God, I pray that you release, you release them of hurt and bitterness, that they can be free from the attacks of the evil one. They can be free from the memories and whatever's haunting them in their minds. Let them be free from that. Let your blood wash them clean. And may they truly be free from bitterness so that they can forgive those that have hurt them. 
that they can also receive forgiveness from you. May you continue to help us to live a life that's godly and forgiving of others because we know that first you have forgiven us. We thank you for so great a salvation. And we obey your word, we believe your word, and we act on it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.